Guys, I know two ways to get really fast at Excel. You can either work your butt off for 15 years as a data processor, like I did, learning shortcuts the boring way as you went along, or you can just use this hack I invented called the Excel Obstacle Course. It all started one day because I have a passion for shortcuts and getting my work done quickly. So one day, management came to me and said, how can we get other people up to speed and as fast as you are at processing? So eventually, I just decided to make an Excel keyboard shortcut game. Since then, thousands of people have benefited from this proven method. Why is it so effective? Because you're ingraining muscle memory into your fingertips rather than having to glance over to cheat sheet or memorize from a piece of paper. That way, when the moment arises at work, when you have to execute an action, you can do it without thinking. So whether you work in data, finance, the sciences, accounting, or anywhere else where you use Excel, and you want to be faster than the person next to you, this is the best way. Guys, there are millions like us who use Excel every single day, and it no longer has to be boring. So this video will just be a quick intro of the Excel Obstacle Course, a walkthrough of all the steps, and instructions on how to download. Now that we have our Obstacle Course open, the first sheet you'll notice is the timer. So this is what I call an X timer. If I type an X in the green and an X in the red a time later, you get the difference in your time. So. When we want to time ourselves, we hit an X and then hit enter and your cursor automatically goes down there. So when you come back to it, you can just hit X again real quick. One thing to note is if you want to make sure that you have no other Excel workbooks open behind it. Okay, that you close those all, save them, whatever, and then you open them. So as you can see here, if you wait an amount of time, This will become a shade of green to shade of yellow to shade of red, depending on if you're guru level or beginner level. So let's start with the first obstacle. You have your hint right here telling us to delete the blue columns without using your mouse. The hints are control spacebar to highlight. And then you can do one of two things. You can go shift and use arrows. Two finger process guys then control minus sign to delete. Another way to do it is just to do it individually. Control spacebar, control minus sign. As you'll learn later to advance sheets, control page down moves from left to right. This next one is to delete the blue rows without using your mouse. That's done by holding down shift and tapping spacebar. And you can hold down control index finger over here and I like to go out here for the minus sign of course you hit if you have a truncated keyboard you can use this minus sign moving on control page down this is just to practice what you've learned in the first two obstacles do that however you like just as long as you have the red box remaining this is just for error navigation if you hold down control and hit arrows, you'll notice that you go, you jump to either the end of the spreadsheet. If I go down, I'm at the very last row of Excel. If I hit control up, I'll go back to the X and jump to the next cell that has something in it. As you can see here, these have X's in them and these have nothing. So this is just to practice that kind of navigation, which is useful, especially if you end up stuck at the end of here and you need to get back. I call that the warp key. Control is the warp key. Control shift is the highlight and warp key. Shift by itself is just the highlight key. Control page down. This is just getting used to switching sheets. So do that a couple more times until you get to this. Two ways to go about this. Control A is one. Another way is to use one finger, hold down control and shift, go down and to the right. The point is to have all these cells highlighted so you can hit control D. You want to do it that way or that way. Whatever way is convenient for you, starting out. Moving on, control page down, same, same exercise, except now we're copying to the right. So control R, copies right. This is a common feature to do a sum. Some people like to sum, people like to sum like that type of formula, but it's a lot more convenient if you hold down Alt and hit equal sign. 
it automatically pulls up the sum formula and intuitively goes up to where there are numbers. If you hit enter, you can do that. You can copy right. One thing you can do, or you can hit alt equal sign a bunch of times. My favorite way though is to highlight all these cells by holding down shift arrowing over to highlight and now I'm going to do alt equal sign and it didn't even give me an option it just knew what I wanted to do so that's the fastest way to do it that's the fun part of doing this is you find faster and faster ways to do it and become more efficient and that's kind of the journey that you take while you get good at this I recommend practicing five to ten minutes a day until you get around a minute or under a minute Control page down again. Sorting. Now this is interesting. I used to do it this way. Control shift down arrow. Alt D S to bring up the sorting and then hit enter. But I, I realized I don't have to have these highlighted. And in fact, I can just hit Alt A S A. So that's what I've listed here as the hint. Okay, special values. As you can see here, we have a formula, right? If we take this group of cells, copy it, control C, everybody knows that one, I hope. Go over here and just paste control V. You'll see that these are not these numbers. And we still have the referential formula. Except now it's goofy, right? So a lot of times we'll write a formula, we just want the results of those formulas. So we'll go control C to paste values, control shift one finger tap V and now you have values here as you can see in the formula bar this being a formula originals and this just being values next we have a text to columns so the text to columns parses out groups of text into different columns if I highlight all these cells control shift again holding down with one finger hitting down and I type Alt, D, E, F, Enter. It's an automatic parse. Excel has this intuitive intelligence that allows it to predict what you want to do, right? So again, I'll do it slower here. It brings up our text to columns wizard. And then if I hit Enter, it goes to the next. As you can see here, it's telling me that it thinks I want to parse like this. So I'll hit enter again, but it gives you several options until you hit enter finally to finish. Easier is Alt D E and jump right to finish. Hit enter. And I do that usually when I have this situation to see if it works. If it doesn't work, then I'll go deeper into why by looking at, you know, do I want to delimit it and just parse when there's a comma or, or anything like that. And finally, we've reached the end. And just like control page down advances from left to right, control page up goes all the way back to the beginning. And from here, again, here you can stop the timer by typing an X or basically any character in the red box. You know, get your time. Like I said, I recommend practicing five to 10 minutes a day until you can do under one minute. Now I have a sample of this obstacle course available for free on my stand store, so check it out. Thanks for watching and good luck. You, you wanna enable circular references on this one. So you open the obstacle course, you wanna make sure that you have no other Excel workbooks open behind it, okay? The, you close those all, save them, whatever, and then you open this, right? Because it might ruin the timer um, because this is based on what's called a circular reference. If you're having problems with that, you just go to options. And then you want to make sure this box is clicked. If it's not clicked, you get this error message. So file options formulas make sure that that's selected we shouldn't have any problem because i saved it like that and if you don't have any workbooks behind it it's going to pull it up with the settings i saved them as